Well, Zach, uh, I understand you just got back from your test drive on that Camry LE. What did you think of it? I really enjoyed the vehicle. I think it's something that I could see myself taking home. And to be honest, the yes. salesperson, Frank, he was really, really great as well. I, I felt comfortable the entire time. Well, I'm, I'm glad that, that Frank made you feel comfortable. Yep. I'm glad that you think this is the type of car that you could see yourself living with. Absolutely. Um, it's a great, great vehicle. I, you know, the Camry's been around... Uh, what, 30 years? It's still one of the most popular vehicles that Toyota's ever produced. Absolutely. Uh, and I can I can guarantee you it's not the type of vehicle that will ever let you down. Yeah, no, and, and to, between you and me, yes. really what it's going to come down to, yes. it's the price. You know, it's it's really the numbers at the end of the day, because I love the car. Yes. I feel ready to go home in it. Well. But my wife, you know, she needs to, we need to... You know, we just gotta make sure everything's in alignment before uh, before I walk do out. Do we uh, do we need to have your wife here? No, no, the I, process, I'm. I'm or, or, if you've already you've already got the stamp of approval from her to go ahead if the numbers are correct. She said, as long as I negotiate a good deal. Well, the the wonderful thing about us here at Gotcha Motors, all we're interested in is is trying to figure out a way to make you a member of the family. A so, member of the Gotcha Motors family. Okay. Somebody's got to be there. I will say one thing. Yes. Though. And what was your name again? Uh, my name's Ray. Ray, yeah. I will share one thing with you. Yes. So my wife, smart lady. Yeah. Smart enough to marry you. Smart yeah. enough to marry me. Yeah. She had me watch these YouTube videos, all okay. right, on how to yeah. buy a car. So yeah. I got one question for you yeah, sure. before we even get into the numbers. Absolutely. When you show me a number, yeah. I want to see the out the door price. Okay. None of the payments, none of the none of the add-ons and, and crap. I need the out the Not door price. Okay. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure to do that for you. All right, right. I've got nothing to hide. All right. Okay. So the Camry, the LE, it's base model. I know you loved it. I have some numbers for you on that vehicle. And and since you're a bottom line kind of guy. An OTD kind of guy. Well, also known as a bottom line kind of guy uh, with the out-the-door number. For that vehicle, you're with taxes, fees, everything, you're only looking at $33,663.55. So $33,663.55 yes, is what yes. you... It's the out-the-door number. If I had to write a check... You write that check, you'll go home happy, I'll go home happy. I might like plan a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's, there's, I, I, I couldn't take a vacation off of this commission. All right, let's 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 run through. There's a lot of line items here. Yeah, well, right, yes. that make well, up yeah, this. Every every car deal has a lot of line items. So it says market value selling price. Yeah, that's the MSRP. Twenty nine thousand three hundred forty nine dollars. Exactly. Yeah. So the Camry's MSRP from the factory is twenty. Okay. Yes. You're giving me a discount. Two thousand sixty-four dollar discount. I guess. I guess you got a few cameras. Okay, that makes sense. I can yeah. understand. You're, you're trying to get a deal done. Yes. The price then is twenty-seven thousand two hundred eighty-five dollars, mm. and then you've got freight. Yeah. Is that like the manufacturer? It's like freight. You know, I had to get here, didn't it? Got it. Okay. So yeah. that's two thousand ninety-seven dollars. Yeah. Well, you know, if 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 we were right at the uh, at the Toyota manufacturing facility, I guess perhaps we could waive the freight, but you had to get the car here. Dock fee is $150. Yeah. I know you charge everyone the dock fee. I yes. read something about that. Yes. Dealer prep. Yes. $1,688? Yes. On the Camrys, that's what it is. Now, if we were looking at a Grand Highlander, it would be a higher number for dealer prep. And what does the dealer prep mean? Like, well, it's to get the get the vehicle ready for the lot, for sale, safety inspection, everything, the, the pre-delivery inspection, everything that you need to do to have that vehicle be 100% ready to go for you to take it home. Do you do that to every car at Gotcha Motors? Yeah, every, every, every car gets, gets the dealer prep. And like I say, if now if it was a, an entry-level Corolla, it would only be $1,488. Being a, an entry-level Camry, it's $1,688. If we were on the Grand Highlander, well, it's $2,488. I had no clue that um, dealer prep, and does, do all dealers do that? I don't know what other dealers do. I only know what we do here. I, you I, know, I don't you. run other shops. Tax, I can't negotiate tax. That's my sales tax. Yes. I get that. Yes. VIT, another tax. All right, I understand. License fee and inspection fee. Yes. 
Title fee, okay, those yeah. are all state fees. We get the PIPA new, is that is that another type of fee? That is another state fee. It's, another state it's, fee. it's, it's yeah, Gosh, it's like yeah. an environmental fee. I, okay, environmental and schmeiermental. Yeah. Cash deposit, obviously, I, we haven't even talked about that yet, so we're not gonna- Well, look. because you want the out-the-door you numbers. Out the door so number. You add all that together. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. That $1,951.25 of tax. Yes. What items on here are, are, are taxable? Oh, uh, well, the selling price, price yeah. yeah. The, the selling price, the uh, the freight, that's taxable. The dealer prep is taxable. The dock fee is taxable. So uh, everything above tax is taxable? Yes. Is that one way I could think about it? Okay. How about this? Yeah. You want to sell the? You want to sell this this car today? Of, of Frank course. Frank seemed really, you know, again no. he was kind, but he was eager. He, I could tell he hasn't sold a car in a while. Frank's new. Yeah, well, that could explain a few yes, things. Yes, yes. But of course, I mean, you know, the only reason we're here, Zach, is 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 to figure out how to sell a car on a daily basis. This is no good. To sit here and try and figure something out where we don't sell you the. And the car. reason I asked what's what's yeah. taxed is because yeah. if it's taxable, it, yes. it's negotiable. And when I look at this out the door yeah, quote, yeah, go ahead. You're actually charging me a lot more than MSRP. A lot more than MSRP. Like two or three thousand dollars over MSRP. And I can't really wrap my head around the fact that the freight is almost twenty one hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure on the window sticker it showed freight as part of y'all have it as market value selling price, but as the MSRP. I'm pretty sure you're trying to charge me twice for that. And now that I think of it, yes. gotcha motors. You're trying to gotcha me. Uh, that's, that's unique, <laughs> but no, we're just trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> because our slogan here is, at Gotcha Motors is once we get you, we got gotcha. you. <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly. Ray, can you, can you in all seriousness? Yes. I appreciate the first pass. Yes. I appreciate that you even put a discount on here. Of course. Let's run it back. I can't walk out of here paying over MSRP. I know that there was a shortage of vehicles. I saw it in the YouTube videos. I get it. We're not yeah. in those times anymore. I could probably go down the street to the other dealer and not have to play any of these games. They give me an OTD at MSRP. I'd be a happy camper. Oh, they, they might play other games. I don't know. I understand. I yeah. understand. But I'm so, here. So, I want to so, buy the car. Okay. And I appreciate that. So let me ask you a question. All right. Um, you feel as if we're charging you over MSRP. You, all your I don't feel that way, Ray. The numbers, the numbers are the all, numbers. All, all you're concerned with is the out the door number. So right now, the out the door number is thirty three thousand six hundred and sixty three dollars and fifty five cents. What is it that you had in mind that would be uh, uh, compelling enough for you to go home with the vehicle? Thirty three six six three and fifty five cents, and yeah. you're telling me to tell you what I think the I, number I, should I, be. I, I, I need. You know, I, I, I'm getting the sense that you want me to do something for you. Yeah, uh, I, need I need to know what it is you'd like me to do. Um, you know, because if you're just going to ask me, you say, "Well, uh, Ray, could you take a few dollars off?" Well, so if I take a few dollars off, is that going to be enough to get you to say yes? But the easiest way to find that is. What number is, does it need to be in order for that to possibly happen? And I'll let you know whether or not that's doable. I can appreciate that. I can assure you of two things. Yeah. One is I'm not paying over MSRP. I, I get that. I so use that, use that as a barometer okay. for the next, the next pass. The second, Just, thing, the second thing I'll yeah, mention, yeah. I actually have a trade-in. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I'll bring it up now. I have a trade-in, and I know that's valuable to you all here, because that means you get another car that you can go sell, you don't have to worry about going to the auction and yeah. all that. So I have a trade-in. Okay. So I'll, I'll lay that card on the table here for you. Yeah. I don't want to pay over MSRP, and I have a trade. Can you take that to your manager and tell me what we can do? Let's forget about the trade at the moment. Okay, I, and I appreciate the fact that you have a trade. But what, what did you want that out the door number to be? Give me so I, I, I'm not gonna go into my manager and say, uh, boss, he wants it to be cheaper. And then my boss is going to say to me, okay, right, so he wants it to be cheaper. How much cheaper does he want it to be? Well, I don't know, boss. He wouldn't share that with me. Um, so, you know, why don't we I just- I get where you're coming why, from, Why don't we just take like a wild ass stab at it and see if maybe we come up with the right number? No, I need to go in there and, and be able to give him some idea 
as to what you're hoping to get. I got to be under thirty thousand dollars out the door. So, so, so if it's at twenty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, we've got a deal. I'm probably still going to jerk you around a well, little bit. Well, so, so give me, you know, I, I want to be able to go to my boss. Give me a decent amount under thirty thousand. What to find decent? Decent to me could be three dollars. Decent to you could be three hundred. I need to know what we're talking about here. You're going to, you're asking me to go into my boss, put my ass on the line to get you a car deal without having any idea as to what it is that, that's going to get you to say yes. He's going to look at me and tell me, Ray, go do your job. Go find out what your customer wants to spend. When you walked me to this office, yes, I saw you had no ass to get. Well, that you part are, might be true. I, you know, Lots of people have taken <laughs> lots of bites out of it over the course of time. I'm trying to preserve what little bit I have left. Get me another pencil. Under thirty thousand dollars, I don't. I won't pull your leg too hard. Under thirty thousand dollars, Ray, can you do that for me, please? I want to go home with the car today. I'd love do to you? figure out the trade. And yes, do you I'm, really I'm want to go physically home? here. Yeah, I'm uh, physically well, then here. Give me, give me a, a real number to shoot for. Don't just give me. Get me a pencil under thirty thousand dollars. Twenty nine thousand dollars. That's where I want to be. Yeah. Okay. Now? So, so uh, you happy now? Twenty eight, twenty nine on the dot. Nothing else. Twenty. So uh, if I get you the twenty, you go below that, I leave. So I want twenty nine. <laughs> so I get you the twenty nine thousand dollars out the door. You're going home with the car. Yeah. I can assure my boss when I go back there and beg. Is that at at twenty nine thousand dollars, you're you're going home with the car. Soft and hands. then we'll and you know, you know I'm selling cars. I'm not selling lumber here, buddy. <laughs> um, and then we can work on your trade after that. Is you, that what you're saying? You might get me. At here gotcha. we got your motors. If we if we get you, we got you. <laughs> okay, that's our slogan. Don't ever forget that. Uh, let me go see what I can do. Thank you, Ray. Zach. Yeah, right. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Leave? Yeah. Because you, you, you told me... Why do I got to leave? Because you told me if, if, if the number I came back with was less than $29,000, you, you weren't going to be happy and you, and you were just going to leave. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What would you do here for me? I, I, I don't want to share with you because it's under $29,000. How'd you get it under twenty nine for me? Well, I told my boss that you were serious about buying a car and that maybe we could make some of the money back up on your trade. <laughs> I'm glad I mentioned that. Yeah. What do you got for me, Ray? $28,837.11. Now, this is what I, I, we were. But you said if it was under 29000 you were leaving. Did your manager see the car I drove here in? Uh, he, he, he didn't care. He just said, here's the number. I know it's a nice RAV4 I got. Okay, Lots he of, said, here's yeah. the number. Either it works for them or it doesn't. MSRP, got it. Yeah. Huge discount. Huge discount. Yeah. But I'm fairly certain you guys are just, but you know what? Either way, either way, either way, Ray. Yeah, you're fairly certain. You, you, how many cars have you sold? Taxable fees of thirty-seven eighty-five. See these discounts and these fees. Things just aren't making sense. Well, I don't know. Is it, is it five thousand dollars less than what it was before? It is. Okay, then it's making sense. I don't know how you guys do it with these numbers. Well, do you want me to, do you, do you want me to go back to the first and, and you can be at the 33,006? No, no, of course I don't want to be at the No, of course. Okay. You said make it no Is there any Make it 29,000 even. I couldn't do that. It's less. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are there any gotchas on this? Seriously, are you there can any see Let me look at it closer. There's the first number. Thirty-three six sixty-three fifty-five. Here's your new number. Twenty-eight. So what were you trying to? Were you really trying to get a vacation out of me on that first one? I was. I was hoping for Tahiti, <laughs> and now I'm settling for Hershey Park. Okay. <laughs> what? You don't want me to take my kids to Hershey Park? I mean, that's all I'm going to be. How many able kids to you got, Ray? Doesn't matter. I'm just curious. If I if I had if I had more than two. I don't know that we can afford to still go to Hershey Park. <laughs> I hear. I don't want to be. I don't want to be breaking your. You know, busting no. your. No, busting I, your chops. I get it. But you know, it's. It, yeah, I mean, were we trying to make a nice profit? Yeah, of course. That's that's what we do. We, you know, we. You never know when somebody will just go yes. Shame on us if we don't ask. Just like it's shame on you if you don't ask. 
You asked, I got it for you. What's the next step? What do we got to do? Well, I guess now we have to appraise your trade and then we can horse trade over that. <laughs> I think it'll be a lot easier. You've really eased my mind here, right? 28, 8, 3, 7, 11 cents. I don't care how we got there. We're there. Yes. I'll take the deal. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Ray. My pleasure.